This is the work of a genius. So from the last episode, the comment section blew up. Really, really blew up. With a whopping, what was it, 10 comments. Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. Among them is Lil Ghosty and Kairozen who are still on my case for Dr. Kamikaze. Ghosty remarking that the accent should have lifted him a few centimeters. Look, start a hashtag or something, get people behind your car, sign a petition cause it ain't happening. Also, Anna brings up the irony of how she just watched Kung Fu Hustle the night before I uploaded the video. There are no accidents. And she also says that birds aren't real. He's too dangerous to be left alive. She knows too much. She knows too much. And the almighty pin comment belongs to Mr. Tess with this gem. Beast vs. Stink Meaner? Bullet versus too bad for hell, and now you're breathing manually? Big man, you got me with my own special technique. <laughs> got he! <laughs> got he! <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. One legend to another. Now, it has also been brought to my attention that new viewers don't understand the rank wall system of ours. So, I'll give it a breakdown every time we start a video. It works every time but fear not if you know what's up you can skip using the chapter system in the description just go after the thing that says breakdown anyway everybody else listen up i rank villains on the wall we have three categories love or the villainous league of evil where everyone from world threat to reality shattering doomsday apocalypse shows up destroy us all and then a tier below that, we have Wano, or we are number one. Is the club for anyone between a town threat and a world threat? You know, good stuff. We are number one. And trash pandas are threats that you could stop with a wet noodle. They're trash. They're like pandas. They're both useless. Uh, let me be. Let me rephrase. That's mean. Trash is actually useful. I thought you were bad. You ain't bad! You ain't nothing! And with that out of the way, let's rank our classy villains, shall we? Cruella de Vil. Miserable darling is usual, perfectly wretched. The fairy godmother. Happiness was just a teardrop away. And Yizma. <laughs> I win. Is it Yizma or Yizma? I'm going Yizma. She wants to make an animal coat out of everything under the sun. Excuse me. <clears throat> she strikes fear in the hearts of animals and people alike. If she doesn't scare you, then nothing will. Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. The queen of the high-end and very unnecessary fashion all of her clothing is a guaranteed kill. Cruella, Cruella. She is a larger than life millionaire with no concept of chill. Roger. To see her is to take a sudden chill. <laughs> we all know this old bat, but say it with me now cause you know what's coming next. Cruella, Cruella de Vil. Let's look at her. I mean, she's not here to win any favorite points, but she does have the style point. And we look at the final villain check mark, the memes. Oh my goodness. She practically has a mill. She takes her rightful place right up here and Wano will leave the losses on the side because everything else that she's killed is now on the extinct list. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. And secondly... In a kingdom far, far away, lived a king and queen with a daughter that had a curse placed on her on the fearful sort. They locked her away in a castle on a volcano guarded by a dragon. Long story short, she gets rescued by Shrek and Donkey and they go on to live happily ever after, yeah, after killing Farquaad. Good landing, boys. Who says a penguin can't fly? Unfortunately for them... A certain someone's son was supposed to do that, and that certain someone is owed a big favor by the king. Oh, good men gone where are all gone? Yes, it is the fairy godmother. Now that I've got all the theatrics out of the way, let's get this, okay? The fairy godmother. She's not what everyone thought she was. Hell, 
I didn't even know what she was until she started explaining it to me. I still don't get it. I think she's a mob boss of like a chemical factory that makes potions. So does that mean she runs a drug trade? A legal drug trade? She's a pharmacist. Yes, and she tried to arrange a marriage for her son. It did not pan out. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. She tried to do it the deceitful force way. That also failed. So then she does magic. She dies. She leaves behind a wand and a lackluster set of memes. But a swinging rendition of I Need a Hero. Leaving you right in the trash where she belongs. She had magic and she couldn't get the job done. Of course I'm gonna throw her in the trash. Know your fucking place, trash! Pull the lever, Grunk. Wrong lever! There she is! The alchemist, the plotter, the schemer, the deceptively fast and agile. Once an original, twice his copyright infringement. Spell her name for me, please. It's Yizma! Now, fun fact, in the version we got, Yizma is basically, you know, the foster mother, I think? The foster mother of... Ha! Boom, baby! Cusco, and she was, was also his royal advisor that ran the show in secret in the back, but the emperor... Ha! Boom, baby! Cusco fired her, then she came up with the most convoluted plan to get rid of him and become empress herself. She settles on poisoning him, thankfully, and that goes pear-shaped, and the Emperor ha! Boom, baby! becomes Rama Sheep. Would you stop doing that every time I say the word Emperor? Ha! Boom, baby! Anyway, she and Crocs try to kill him, but they're stopped by a peasant and the power of friendship and then she got turned into a cat and she loses nice clean family fun the villain loses yay happy mega family and me good landing boys who says a penguin can't fly in the original story man she was something else she was supposed to summon the death god the inkin death god and go on a mission to snuff out the sun in order to stay young Forever, Cusco was supposed to almost die, and that would have placed her snugly in the love category. Cause who in their right mind wants to snuff the sun? But Disney said that was too intense for children and turned her into the wano piece of amazingness we have. But her legion of world class memes and the songs she can sing make her a high ranking wano member. We are number one! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Have to admit it, there are some outstanding songs to accompany these vile ladies. And I'll leave links for those in the description right under the chapter. Thank you very much for watching. Please conduct the YouTube goodness. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. I want to be a bigger presence than I am now. My genius shall not go unheard for too long. Don't give me excuses. Give me results. And be sure to tune in next time when I rearrange the alphabet. Ta! So long, Gulf!